Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I'm, hang on just a second. <laughs> I'm just playing around in Silhouette Studio again, the business edition. Remember, we can use this for our Cricut machines, not a problem whatsoever. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what I've done. I went over here to Google and I found this really cute Hello Kitty. I just typed in Hello Kitty and Easter and I came to this one and it's a free download so I've already done that so I'm gonna go back again to Silhouette Studio and I'm gonna to go to file open and I'm gonna look for my Hello Kitty she should be in my downloads she had a little bit of a different name there nope that's the colored one Here she is. So I'm going to open her. She comes in really small, so I'm going to come up here to this magnifying glass and just make her bigger so we can see what's, whoopsie, what we're doing. And actually, sometimes I do like to work with them over here off of the mat so I can see better. Uh, if you're using Silhouette and anything that's not on your mat over here to the right when you go to send it to your mat this won't cut or do anything this is just a saving place over here anything on your mat is what will cut or whatever happens <laughs> print then cut all right so i'm going to make her a little bit larger like that and i'm going to trace her so i'm just going to come over here to the trace tool that looks like toast and i'm going to go select trace area and i'm going to trace it and notice I didn't get out far enough so I can still move this out a little bit so the basket isn't cut off. Okay, that looks pretty good except for her ears. Let's see what happens if I move it a little bit. Okay, don't want to move too much because I don't want to move. See, when I go too far, I lose this part of her bow so I'm just going to trace it like that for now and maybe I'll do another trace to get that part so I'll just trace and I'll move this part off because I don't need it right now okay the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the outer edge of her and I'm going to change it to a color that's not probably going to be in my bunny so I don't think this purple's in there so I'll make it like that <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to object release compound path and that makes it all like this and then I can remove that purpley part the solid part that I need in the back and now what I'm going to do next is grab some of these things a little bit at a time so I'm going to grab her hat and hold down my shift key and get her arm and her tail and her leg and her other leg and I'm going to change those to the pink color that she is in my sample by using this eyedropper tool and just come here and grab it just like that and then I'm going to make the basket so let me grab this part and each hold down my shift and grab each one of these little pieces and I might want to might want to zoom in closer to get these I think I'm doing okay though and then I'm going to change the color of those by coming up here to the color swatch. And again, I'm going to come to the eyedropper tool and I'm going to get the basket. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to grab her little face and I'm going to make that white. And her bow. I'm going to make it pretty pink. And I'll make it the color that it is here. And I should do these inner parts too. Whoops. Hold down the shift to grab the other one. And also make those the pink. Um, let's see. I'm going to make her nose yellow. And I could color in these Easter eggs now if I wanted to. I didn't get enough of the different stuff to be able to color them differently. So I'll just do it like this for now. Okay, 
so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to black and I'm going to bring it behind the image you can see how nice that turns out right now I don't want to have to cut out little dots for her eyes so I'm going to click on her little eyeball hold down my shift key and get the white and subtract I'm going to hold down the eyeball shift key and the white and subtract and the same thing for the outer part of her nose nose hold down the shift key white and subtract so you're wondering what, what does that do so let me pull it up here and you can see that it actually makes holes in those little areas so the black shows through and we don't have to cut out little pieces of black all right and if we take this tool up here and go zooming in on the basket I see there's a couple of places here that look like they need to be subtracted out so click one hold down my shift key click the other and the basket and say subtract there we go this little piece right here probably should be the brown so I'm going to grab my paint or my eyedropper and get the brown did it do it yeah okay let me zoom back out control and the minus key on my keyboard and that looks really great other than one thing that I can't fix right now because of the way I uh, modified it or traced it is the eggs or her ears so maybe I can go over here and trace her one more time so let's see oops I don't want to make her smaller so I'm going to come back over here to the trace select the trace area and I'm just going to trace up here so I can get her little ears so I am going to make it higher there we go because I don't care about her bow right now so I'm going to say trace and I'm going to move this out and now I'll have these two little pieces when I go to object release compound path and then I can take this little piece over here and I can color it get the eyedropper this color there we go and I can grab this little piece and drag it over here and color it with the eyedropper tool again or here's the most recent color I used so that's good um, you know I think I'd really like her tail to be white instead of pink so I'm going to change that color and the eggs I'm not sure about those let's see what happens when I try to select another trace area and see if I can get those eggs any better I'm not sure that I can well I sort of can so let me trace it and see what we get <clears throat> okay I'm not really liking that so I think I'm gonna leave the, the eggs the way they are I could probably mess with this and figure out something to do but you know I'm pretty happy with how cute she is so I'm gonna delete all of these pieces here don't need them if you're in silhouette using your cameo all you have to do is go to send it and then you can have it cut by colors but right now I'm still using just my Cricut machine so I'm gonna go to file save as save to hard drive and it's gonna be uh, I'll just call her hello kitty kitty Easter and of course you know for uh, Cricut Design Space I have to change this to an SVG file say okay and now let's open Cricut Design Space let's go to upload upload an image browse and I'm gonna look for Hello Kitty Easter there it is and open it here she is I'll just say save and now I'm going to insert her and notice I can't really grab a hold of her very well over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change its position to one one and now it's right there where I can grab it 
and I can make her much larger. And she's ready to go. So if I ungroup her, it ends up like this. And, and I have all these little pieces, right? But it might be a little hard to put together if I'm making her small and I'm making her out of vinyl. So what I can do is just undo. And once she's all put back together, I'll just come over here and start grouping the same colors together. So I'll go to the blue, this uh, darker pink, click on the first one in the uh, layers panel, hold down my shift key and grab the other ones. Okay, that's all of those. And I'm going to group them. So I can just bring them right over now. And then I'll get the lighter pink ones. So I'm going to grab the lighter pink one there. Hold down my shift key and get these others. Some of these I can't really tell for sure. So let's see if I've gotten everything. I'm going to drag everything over this way. It looks like I have. So all I have to do now is go to group. <clears throat> and then over here you'll notice in the group it's still opened up and I see all that stuff. If I don't want to see it all, this can open let you see the things underneath of it and close it up so there's not as much going on. I did the same thing with the darker one. <clears throat> so now I just have to, there's the black, it's all one piece, and the white, this and this, <clears throat> I think that's all there are, two pieces of white. And I'll group those. And again, check this out. When I bring this over, notice how this white piece is going to have her little part of her little nose and her eyes cut out already. Here's her teeny tiny little nose. It's the only one of that color, so I don't need to group it with anything else. The only thing left I should group probably is all the brown for the basket. I'm going to go this, hold down all my shift key, or hold down my shift key while I grab all of these and go to group. And so that will make it really easy when I go to do this in vinyl because when I pull it off with my transfer tape, it will be all together exactly how I need it to be. And then these two are just separate. So let's pretend like we're going to make it and see how that's going to work. Okay, let's look for a second. This isn't quite what we had in mind, right? Well, that's our little nose. But while they were grouped together and staying together while I moved them around on the mat, that's all that grouping does for you. It keeps things together on the mat. So what we need to do now is I'm going to click these groups just to kind of make them a little shorter. And I'm going to go to this group and I'm going to go to attach. And I'm going to go to this group and it gets all of them and attach. And this group and attach. And this group and attach. And now let's go over here and see what happens when we make it. All right, that looks good. The black we know that will be good because it's just one solid piece. The thing that was giving us fits a little bit was the pink. And notice now it's all exactly where it needs to be. It's been attached. So grouping only helps keep things together on your mat over here while you're working. If you want them to stay in the exact same spot on the mat when you go to cut them, you have to attach them. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little something. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my tutorials and share them with your friends. If you're not able to share on different Facebook groups or different places, you know, private message your friends and let them know about what we're doing over here by using both Silhouette um, Studio Business Edition and Cricut Design Space together to make our Cricut machines really sing. So thanks again for joining me. Bye, y'all.